Hello everyone, welcome. Today I want to talk about your subconscious mind and how when you are upset, it takes over. Have you have you ever noticed that when you get upset, you do things and you don't even know what you're doing? You know, you're you're doing something and then you you mess it all up or you fumble. Because not only are you disconnected from it, but then programming takes over. Your subconscious mind is uh, doesn't have any understanding whatsoever. It's totally gullible and it needs to be protected. In a sense, it's kind of like children. Children are need to be protected by wise and vigilant parents, don't they? because children are easily influenced, aren't they? They can do wrong things. They can do bad things under the influence of their friends. Or you what you see your kids watching some video game and they're jumping around and doing exactly what the entertainer is doing. You see what I mean? So children need to be watched with a vigilant parent by vigilant parents well the subconscious mind is the same way and the vigilant and the parent is your conscious mind you often when you read for example when you read the philokalia for example you know mystical and uh, spiritual writings from the desert fathers they often talk about vigilance don't they vigilance well, you have to be vigilant. And the way your conscious mind is vigilant is when it has wisdom, understanding, and awareness. And the only way you can receive understanding and wisdom is when you are aware. So the conscious mind, let's say your soul, can be either aware or unaware. And when you are aware, then you are aware of subtle, intuitive guidance, wordless guidance from above. It's called intuition, common sense, a gut level knowing. 